How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, Martha. What's that? Martha Realty and Max. What's up? What's up? We got Facebook up here. Can't read that name. I just see easier or easier. Something, 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 something. So welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, real quick, I just want to talk about something real quick and um, I'll let you guys know. I know I haven't been on for a while. I'm doing great, Max. I'm doing great. I haven't been on Facebook and um, Instagram in a while going live. I've kind of been working on some things behind the scenes, guys. Podcast is going great. Everything is going great with that. We've been having some high level investors on there and some people that has just gotten started. So if you're not on a podcast or if you're not on our YouTube channel, feel free to join us. We would love to have you with us. We would love to have you with us. Uh, but today, what I really just kind of want to go over is, um, you know, sometimes you just got to have integrity in the things that you do. And, you know, you see a lot of people go on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and they show all of the checks. You know, I made... $15,000 here, I made $20,000 here, and all of that kind of stuff, and it's supposed to be inspiring, you know, for you guys to get out there and get going, let me know, is this music too loud for you guys, somebody just chime in and let me know if you can really hear me, or if you hear more so the music, somebody let me know, hey Fierro 703, glad you could join us, is the music too loud guys, or, or are we good? So, okay, thank you, thanks, Max, for um, for responding. Uh, let me do this right here. Okay, um, so like I was saying, you know, people get on YouTube, get on Facebook, get on Instagram, you know, their IG stories, and you know, they post these checks. Hey, I just came from the bank. I just did this. I just did that. Um, what I want to tell you is that. The higher you guys start to go up in your business, you'll be tempted in other ways, you know. So it may be temptations as far as, you know, trying to get that next deal closed. Are you going to do something unscrupulous in order to get that deal closed or something like that? So when you're starting out, you know, you're trying to make money. You're trying to get money in. You're trying to get started and everything like that, but the higher you go up, like I said, those temptations arise. So when people are posting these checks, that's great. You know, it's supposed to be inspiring. But what I want to do today is I want to show you something that happened to me back in October. Um, had an opportunity to work with somebody in a different state. Everything went well. We closed the transaction. And just to make a long story short, um, the title company never did send me the proceeds. They never did send our company the proceeds for us closing this transaction. And we reached out, you know, to the person that we were working with and said, hey, you know what? We, we got the deal done, everything closed, but she never, the title company never did take our information to send us our proceeds check. And well, lo and behold, the guy had utmost integrity he said look they never did send you the money I am going to wire the money to your account right now and he did exactly that he sent that wire to me and lo and behold a week later we finally received the check from the title company so if we didn't have integrity and in what we were doing and if we were just money driven and money hungry we would have said wow you know what we got paid out twice on one deal, which we know, hey, we probably would never work with that guy again or probably would never work with that company again and we could have took the money and ran. Well, what I wanted to show you guys today is not only do we make the money and we help people out, but we also want to make sure that we do the right thing. So I told him, I picked up the phone, I let him know, I said, hey, you know what, you wired us the money, we got the money in our account, but also the title company sent us the check from the proceeds. So I told him, I said, hey, look, we're gonna do everything above board. I shredded the check, I cut the check up, 
and we disposed of it. So him being an astute businessman, he said, okay, well, you know what, do me a favor, show me that you, you know, dispose of the check, you guys cut it up and everything like that. So I want to share with you guys today that it's not just about making the money, but it's about doing the right things with the money. You know, we could have been slimy, sleazy and kept the money, but it wasn't worth it. The relationships are much more important. So not only do we make the money, but if you can see this, we we cut up this $5,000 check. Facebook there, 5,000. Instagram here, 5,000. We could have kept this money. We could have ran off with it, but we wanted to do the right thing because relationships are most important. If you didn't see it again, yes, it's a check for $5,000 that has void and is shredded on it. You know, so you gotta remember, you're gonna be tested the further you go up the line. And we have not only done that with the $5,000, you know, check, but we've also done it you know, with $7,000 checks, $10,000 checks, because not every time the title company get things right, you know, and you want to be reciprocal and what you do, you want it to come back to you guys. So this is me, Marcus Maloney, and this is our two minute meetup for this week. Just remember, as you're getting started, don't be tempted by the money. Don't be tempted by the flashy things. Don't be tempted by the Rolls Royces and the Rolex watches and the Lamborghinis and Ferraris, do what's right and those things will come. Could we have used that $5,000? Absolutely. Who couldn't? You know, you have, but you have to do everything right because it'll come back around to you. So guess what? We did that. I showed him. We got rid of, the ch that, got rid of that check, cut it up and shredded it. Now we're a firm business partner with them in one of our markets and they are sending deals to us continuously. So we could have took that $5,000 and ran with it, but now because we did what was right, we're making more three, four, five times worth that $5,000, guys. So um, remember, it's the last thing I wanna say, I'm gonna get off my soapbox and not preach, but just let you know, please, please, please do what's right because we are all, as wholesalers and real estate investors, we already get a bad name. Let's make sure we do us right. That way we can keep my name solid and you can keep your name solid. That way you can make far beyond $5,000, $10,000, $20,000. Okay? So signing off, guys. If you want more information like this, you know how to find me right here on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube at MRCS Maloney. Join us on the podcast, man. We love equity. Um, real estate show got some awesome guests on there shows are being aired every Monday I love you guys and I will see you I promise I will not be away this long but I got some stuff over here on the board that I'm working on that's specifically for you guys so thank you again see you later and let me know if you get a deal closed let me know what you're working on definitely love to help you